Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Long time, no talk. So sorry it's been so long since I filmed a video, but life has just been crazy for me. But I'm here and back today with a video for you guys. It's kind of going to be random and a lot of just an update video. But if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get into today's vlog. So like I said, I have not seen or talked to you guys in a really long time and I'm so sorry. The last video was Henley's delivery vlog and those puppies are now six weeks old. So it's been quite some time. I feel terrible, but my life is just crazy right now between being a foster mom, puppies, Dolly had puppies, and I also coach track and field at our high school and I do YouTube. Like life is just really busy for me and it's hard to kind of get everything done. But I'm here today. I'm going to turn you guys around real quick because Dolly's puppies are actually, or not Dolly, Henley's puppies are actually outside playing. This store is very dirty, but here they are. As you can see, they've gotten so big. I'm going to give you guys a better introduction and show you guys them a little bit more in depth later because they're outside just playing. It's extremely windy though. I don't know if you can see the trees and how bad they're blowing in the wind, but I'm surprised they're not shivering, but they're doing really good. I mean, it is 50 degrees, but still. So here are Henley's puppies. And right now, currently, I am over here in their pen area and I'm about to change it up, add some crates because it's about time to start crate training with them. And I'm going to then bring them back in. Also, if you missed it, Dolly had her puppy. Come here, doll. Hi, Dolly. She is shaved like a poodle right now because of the delivery. It was so messy. But she had 13 puppies. So I'm going to also sit down and introduce all of them to you guys and share more with you about these 13 pups. Also need to change their pad for the day but lots of big updates to share with you guys. I wasn't able to get a delivery vlog and I'll kind of explain why. Um, once I sit down and talk about Dolly's puppies, hi mama, but for now I'm just gonna set you guys up and go ahead and get started on this little puppy area. So I'm done transforming this little area. So we've got the three crates in the back to help start introducing the crates. New pads down. I extended the little play area a little bit. I know this is like a full pen. And technically I could just give them the full area. But I love having a little space in here I can step in without them running out. It makes it very difficult. And there's only six of them. They're mini golden doodles. So this is plenty of room. I've got their two little wolves potty trays. I'll have those linked down below. Um, so you guys can shop them. They've got some water, some toys, and then I'll probably put um, their little like jungle gym little thing with hanging toys in here as well. Right now they've got it outside. So this is a little play area. I'd say it looks pretty good. So I'm going to bring them in here in a second and then I'll give you an update on these little guys. Okay, I came over here to check on them and they are still having a blast. As you can tell outside running around frolicking. So we're going to leave them outside for a while. And then for now we are going to go to... On my dolly's puppies we are going to change their pad also i've got this new thing i can't wait to try out 
we are going to change their pad in their box and I'll sit down and introduce them all to you before we bring those puppies in. So I'm gonna set you guys up real quick. nursing and I'm going to kind of introduce you guys to Dolly's litter and tell you guys kind of a little bit about the backstory of her litter, why there is no vlog, things like that. So Dolly actually had her puppies on a leap day. So these are leap year babies, which is so crazy. It's so weird to think that in their lifetime they'll probably only have like two to three birthdays. Um, but they were born on leap year, so 229 in the middle of the night. She started at like 1 a.m. and didn't finish till like 9 the next morning. She did end up having 15 puppies total, but two were born underdeveloped and already deceased, so we only have 13 live puppies. At first, we had a couple puppies that were struggling, but they're all doing fantastic now. So, we're very grateful for that. Since we do have 13 puppies, we decided to go with the Baker's Dozen litter theme, and also Dolly's Guardian Family's last name is Baker. So, it just overall, it's like a super cute litter theme. This is going to be Dolly's last litter for our program. We are trying to downsize a little bit, slow down on the amount of litters we produce a year, and also probably focus on more of our small doodles. So these are standard size multi-generational golden doodles. Mom is like an F1B percentage and dad is like 40% golden retriever. So these puppies are gonna have around 30 to 35% golden retriever in them. They're going to all have wavy or straight coats and be fully furnished. Both mom and dad are fully furnished. And they are all, like dark brown reddish color with um white markings they all have a variety of mark white markings some very minimal some a little bit more there ended up being eight boys and five girls and overall like i said everyone's doing good we do have a ton of, of availability on this litter like more than we've ever had before which is kind of stressful because there's 13 of them we do have how many spots we have three girl spots available and five or six boy spots available. So we have a ton of availability on this litter. For that reason, we have lowered the price. They are only going to be $2,000. So if you are interested in a rosemary doodle, that is the lowest price you're probably ever gonna see from us. And a lot of that is because when they're 13 and we do need to get these puppies sold in their families. And also, I just, I don't know. I just felt right lowering the price a little bit. Um, so price is lowered. So if you're interested, click the link down below and apply. Also, this will be our last standard litter for the year. We're not having any more standard golden noodles for the year and probably won't have any more standard golden noodles for quite some time. The next litter will probably be in 2025 and will probably be from Ellie. All our other future moms that are standards will most likely be bred to smaller studs or medium size golden noodles or smaller. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, so if you want a standard doodle from us, this is your time. They go home at a really good time. They go home at the end of April, very early May. So you're getting out of the winter. You can start potty training in the summer and have them fully potty trained by the summertime. Get to spend the summer with your puppy. And it's just a really good time as well to bring home a puppy. So if you're interested, definitely reach out because we have a ton of availability. We want to make sure all these little puppies go to the right homes and the right families. And this, this will be Dolly's last litter, like I said. She is retiring after this litter. Um, so, without further ado, I want to pull up my phone because I can't remember exactly everyone's name quite yet. I haven't quite learned it yet. Um, and I'm going to go through their names. So, I'm just going to kind of grab a puppy. They're all kind of nursing, so I don't want to bother. So, this is Pink Collar Girl. Let me adjust her collar as well so while we're going. So, let me go to the pink. So, this is... Pandolce pink collar girl she has a liver nose I believe yes so she's gonna have a brown nose she's a little mad I took her away from mom but she's a really pretty dark red color she has very minimal white on her chest as you can see and it's so really pretty they're all like this really pretty caramel reddish color I will say that all of Dolly's puppies in the past have darkened so expect them to get even darker red as they grow so that is Pink Pandolce. I guess I'm gonna do all the girls because I'm pulling all the girls right now. 
This is Purple Collar Girl Sourdough. So this is Sourdough. Super pretty. Purple girl. She has very minimal white on her chest as well as you can see. But this is Sourdough. I'm just obsessed with that name as well. It's so cute. Sorry if you're not going to be able to get a good look at them. It's very hard to hold puppies at this age. Especially when they're nursing and hungry. This is Yellow Collar Girl Macaroon. She has some really gorgeous markings and she also has a liver nose. So she has like all the white down her chest. That really pretty liver nose that we like. I really am grabbing them at the wrong time when they're trying to nurse. But this is Macaroon. <laughs> so not the best views, but doing my best. And then we have Red Collar Girl. Let's see if I can find her in the pile. orange collar girl okay we're gonna skip the orange collar girl because i found her this is muffin orange collar girl she has a black nose she's a little bit lighter than some of the others right now but she is also one of the smaller ones and then like i said the tiniest little white spot as you can hear she was trying to suck on my hand because i took her off her mama but this is little orange collar girl muffin there's muffin i'm sorry i took you away from your mom Girl. There's so many of them. It's like impossible to find them all. Okay. This is a red collar girl. Let me see if I can remember. Eclair. So this is Eclair. She's got a black nose. She has some more white markings as well. Um, really pretty color. Um, a little bit more white on her than some of the other girls, but not as much as Macaroon. So this is Eclair. So that's all the girls. And then the rest is all the boys, which there are a ton. So let's see. This is dark green collar boy Cannoli. So Cannoli is a really pretty dark red. He has a brown nose as well. He does have quite a bit of white on his chest. It's kind of hard to show you. There you go. Um, he looks like he's going to have a straighter coat really pretty color and really cute face on him and i just obsessed with his name so this is cannoli <laughs> so this is a black collar boy croissant i think he has oh does he have a liver nose too yeah he has a liver nose too so this is croissant i think we have two boys with liver noses and two girls with liver noses so here's his white he has quite a bit of white as well him and dark green collar are very similar he is extremely cute so this is croissant really cute boy then we have light green collar boy this is baguette he has a black nose little baguette super cute little pepperoni yeah he's like milk drunk he has some white paws a big white chest and it's a really pretty boy so that's baguette then we have tan collar boy this is Danish. He has, yeah, a black collar or a black nose. He stuck it on my hand as well. He's got a big white chest as well. A lot of the boys have really big white chest. He's got some dipped toes. Really pretty coloring on him as well. So this is tan collar Danish. Look at the camera, Danish. He's like, not happening. Then we have a dark blue collar boy, Scone. He has a black nose, so this is Scone. There's his white on his chest, a little bit more minimal than the other boys. So that is Scone. This is Orange Collar Boy. He has, no, this is Weird Girl. Yeah, this is Orange Collar Boy, Beignet. He has a brown nose. These brown nose puppies are gonna be so cute. He's got a little bit of white on his chest. He's more of a caramel color as well. So this is Beignet. Okay, so this is Light Blue Collar Boy Cinnamon Roll. Thank you. Light Blue Collar Cinnamon Roll. He was our runt. He was really struggling, but he caught up with everyone and is doing really good now. But you can still tell he's pretty tiny. So this is Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll also has a black nose. A um, little bit of white, not much on him. But he was our little runt and is still pretty small, but he's definitely doing better. So that's Cinnamon Roll. See if I can put him back on the 
nipple since he is so small. What have I done here? Okay, what boys have I not done? Done cinnamon roll, done baguette, done cannoli, done Danish, done croissant, gray collar. I've not done gray collar. Let's see if I can find him. Okay, so this is gray collar. His name is Bagel. So this is Bagel. He has a black nose. He's really pretty. Got really pretty coloring. Pretty big white chest. So this is gray collar Bagel. He said, mmm, that was good. So yeah, like I said, she had 13 puppies. This is Dolly's Baker's Dozen Litter. We're super excited to raise these puppies and watch them grow. It's gonna be crazy, but super fun. Like I said, we do have um, lots of availability on this litter. So if you're interested, be sure to apply down below. Once, I, once again, this is you know a great deal on one of our puppies. They're well-bred, well-raised, um, held tested, all things like that for only 2,000. You really can't beat it. Our lowest price ever. We're never probably gonna have a litter this cheap ever again. Mainly, we just want these puppies to be able to find their homes and go home by eight weeks. Um, so I believe they will, and I pray for their homes daily, and I just know the right ones are gonna come along. But if that's you and you're interested in one of these puppies, make sure to comment down below or fill out the application. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. They are, like I said, ready to go home around April 27th. They are standard size gold noodles around 50 to 55 pounds, and they'll have wavy or straight coats. So beautiful puppies. I'm obsessed with them, and I'm excited to have finally introduced them to you guys. Okay, guys, I am making the plunge and getting in with the crazy bunch in order to show you guys them because they are six weeks old and full of it full of life full of fun just crazy puppies typical six week old wild little puppies they are just wild they're all on my lap right now going crazy so i wanted to show you guys them give you guys an update on henley's happily ever after litter so I do have one female spot currently on this litter when this video is being filmed. I do have someone considering putting in positive deaths so that might be taken. I will put it on the screen here. It is for last female pick. Um, I'm also considering potentially not keeping a puppy back from this litter. I've been highly considering it, but we're just not sure where our program's going from here moving forward. So I just don't know if I want to keep back another puppy, but I do like minis and these are true mini so it's really hard to not keep one back but I have yet to find a guardian home so Dolly get back so I will let you guys know if I do end up not keeping one back then I will have a spot open as well but for now I still have that spot for myself we will see what happens there but you're just full on wild let's start with Mr. Prince Charmin who has his family already because he is the only boy they obviously already knew that they were getting him when he was born and they were completely fine with that. So come here, Prince Charlie. He's actually getting him some water. Hi, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? So this is handsome Prince Charming. He, Dolly, get back. Dolly wants to see all the puppies. This is Prince Charming. He is beautiful. He has the prettiest, blockiest head as you can see. He is so handsome. This litter is definitely one of the prettiest litters I've had so far. He's got some really pretty white on him. He is super chill and mellow for the most part, but definitely still playful. But this is him, like I said, just a gorgeous, sweet puppy. Just so loving, and they literally all look like teddy bears. This pup, these puppies are full of wild, like going crazy right now though. Then, so that's the only boy. Then this is Belle. Belle is our super sweet, brave, and confident puppy. She seriously is so sweet. Look, her tail's going a million miles a minute. She is so sweet, so loving, so confident. Um, always one of the first ones to want to be held and picked up and I love her personality and her temperament. She really is just so, so sweet and so laid back. So that is Miss Purple Collar Belle. Princess Belle. Y'all are being crazy. Then we have Green Collar Girl Tiana. So this is Tiana, super pretty, another solid red girl. Tiana is definitely more of my more nervous puppy. She definitely is a little bit more lower energy, but definitely lacks confidence like a lot of the other puppies do. We've been trying to work with her. She definitely is just naturally a little bit more of a nervous puppy, but definitely like the last one to do anything. A little shy, but I definitely think with the right owner, that personality will really shine, but she just naturally needs a little bit more, you know, someone to bring out a little bit more of her confidence. But she's super, super sweet though and super mellow. So that is Tiana. 
Who is biting on me? Is that Belle? Yes, that's Belle. Then, if we're sticking with the other girls, we have Cinderella. Cinderella is super sweet, confident, and brave as well. She's super fun and playful. Not much scares her. Oh, something's freaking my dogs out right now. You can hear the inside dogs. But Cinderella is gorgeous. She's a beautiful dark red color. She's super sweet and loving, as you can see. A really sweet puppy. Great personality and temperament. Super confident and brave as well. So, that is Cinderella. Oh my goodness, hi Belle. Belle is also human obsessed. She's literally been on me this entire time. Then we have Ariel, which is pink color girl. She has a gorgeous face too. She has some really pretty white markings on her as well. And at first she was a puppy who lacked a little bit of confidence, but she definitely has come a long way and sort of coming out of her shell. And now she's a typical, really fun and playful puppy who has some confidence about her. She's gorgeous, she's stunning, and we're just obsessed with her. And last but certainly not least is the one who is attacking me in the back, and that would be Princess Ariel. So Ariel is our really pretty puppy with white markings. Um, she is probably one of the smaller puppies in the litter. Her and Cinderella and Tiana are pretty small. Um, she's a very gorgeous, as you can tell, with those flashy white markings. She's super sweet, loving, playful, spunky, a little rambunctious, um, but definitely a sweet, sweet girl. Super chill. She has a little bit more of her mom's face than the other puppies, a little bit longer of a muzzle, but nevertheless, she is still, ow, I'm getting attacked by puppies. Nevertheless, she is still just as gorgeous, sweet, and fun. So we are obsessed with her. Hi, hi. I'm telling you what, puppies are literally like little pterodactyls. Their teeth are sharp, they are so playful, so fun, but you better be careful because they'll get you with them teeth and it will hurt. So that is Ariel, that is Henley's puppies, her happily ever after litter. Um, this is her second litter for us. Allie, she actually just went home this past weekend too to her guardian family. Hey, sweet girl. Um, and they are actually going to be welcoming a little girl here soon, a little human girl. So I'm super excited for them, super excited for Henley to become a big sister to their little human baby. Um, so I'm really excited for them, and I'm glad that Henley got to go home before little sister arrives, or her little sister arrives. She's going to be here probably the end of this month, um, early April. So she went home this past weekend. They are fully weaned from mom. They are eating puppy food twice a day, breakfast and dinner. Being super fun and playful, as you can see. Um, we're gonna be starting crate training this week. Going really hardcore on that high. Um, and yeah, we're just loving every second with these puppies. They have been great. They've been super fun, super sweet, super playful, and just absolutely adorable. <laughs> Cinderella is going crazy. Cinderella? What are you doing, sissy? So we have, once again, loved having them. We do have a spot available as of now. Um, these puppies are 3,000, so if you're interested, you can apply down below. I'm not sure if that spot will still be here, um, but yeah. Gorgeous puppies. We're so obsessed with them. I love the minis, uh, especially minis that come from Henley's lines. Henley does not act like your typical mini golden doodle. She's not yappy. She's not bossy. She's just an overall great dog, and she still has a high percentage of golden retriever as well, so we really love that about her. Henley is one of our favorites in our program. She just has the best personality. Me and my husband always say if we could keep her, we would, but she's very much loved and adored by her guardian family. This is um, Rapunzel that I'm holding right now, but Henley will hopefully have two more litters. She definitely will probably, as long as she does good, have two more litters for us because she bounces back really well and also Henley loves being a mom. Even after these puppies have teeth and are biting on her, she loves to be in there with them, playing with them. She's definitely one of those dogs who was meant to be a mom, so probably sometime next year she'll have another litter for us, but she's done with litters for this year. This will be her only litter for the year for us. So that is Henley's Happily Ever After litter, and I think that is going to be all for today's video. It was already pretty long introducing all 13 of Dolly's puppies, so sorry this took so long. Hopefully the next video won't take as long for me to get to you guys, but thank you for bearing with me. I just am really in a very um, busy time of life right now. Um, becoming a foster mom just life in general it's just really hard to get busy for me but thank you guys for always sticking by me for supporting me and loving me if you are interested in a puppy whether that's from this litter or dolly's litter make sure to click the link down below to apply we've got to find dolly's puppies their homes i know we will i can feel it and i'm feeling confident that they will all find their forever homes where they're meant to be but if you guys don't mind sharing on instagram or sharing with your friends by word of mouth that would greatly help us but we love you guys and we'll see you in the next video bye dudes Thank <laughs> you.